Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you. So the, the sh same chapeau as last time, I think, from the uh, Canadian Screen Awards, right? Uh, yes, I, like a yeah. pretty good memory you have. Well, uh, I remember a hat like that. You're a well-dressed man. Now, there are all kinds of rumors, John. Oh. I'm hearing it might Dirty be... Dirty, salacious rumors? Uh, uh, a little bit. I'm hearing that it's yeah, called The Amazing Race Canada. For but a reason. Okay. Yeah. So, so what, what is all this about the international element? Well, you tell me. Uh, I haven't read anything. I don't go online, so you'll have to uh, enlighten me. What it is that you're talking about? <laughs> well, well, we'll leave it at that. Oh. Well, you had a you had a great first season. How do you follow that up? I mean, I feel like the Amazing Race Canada exceeded everybody's expectations. It was not just this like cheap Canadian knockoff, no. which I'm sure people like said to you, "Oh, it's just a Canadian show," which it really wasn't. How do you follow that up? Well, it really was a Canadian show. Uh, it was Canadian produced. It was Canadian talent. It was Canadian driven. It was Canadian everything. And so it, it's. It's not uh, anything but our own, and we don't have to call it Canadian TV anymore. We can just call it TV, uh, because what we're doing here in this country is, is fantastic, and we've got so much to be proud of. And what I mean is, like, you know how there's always this, like, connection with, like, oh, it's a Canadian show. It's not going to be as good as the U.S. Yeah. one. Were you surprised at how well-received it was? You know what, I, 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 this is my first foray into the television industry, so I had zero expectations, but I was absolutely overjoyed uh, with the reception that it, that it did receive. And uh, it's not really surprising to me because I was well aware that our country is incredibly broad, diverse in terms of its landscapes, its people, its scenery, all this stuff, which is what you need to play backdrop to the, to the drama and the race and the challenges. So I wasn't super surprised in that respect, but I was delighted at the, at the reception that Canadians gave the show. And finally, do you feel like you have a higher sense of comfort? You know, the first season, it's your first time hosting, your yeah. first time hosting this show. Do you feel like you're going in with a much more solid base and now you can take a few more liberties with the contestants? Maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that uh, plays out when they, when they edit the show and how it uh, turns out on television. But I did feel more comfortable in my role this year. Not to uh, say that I have it licked or that I've got it uh, down pat, but just I wasn't terrified every moment. And last year, I was just trying to remember to bend my knees so that I didn't pass out you know uh, and so in that respect I was able to maybe uh, be a little bit more myself with the types of questions that I answered or asked but that doesn't get a whole lot of airtime on the show so it'll be more of the same I'm, I'm sure but hopefully I, uh, uh, I I grew somewhat into the role amazing John thank you so much good thank luck brother, season thank two you. thank you